Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Ajee Sok Podcast. I'm Jai Sankar, Ajee Sok Admin and Open Mind. Hey everyone, I'm Bhavanta, a mentor at Open MRS. So, today, it's a special episode. We have like covered the basic stuff here and there on Ajee Sok Podcast. And it's a really special episode for me because it's one of the projects that I'm going to mentor. And we are going to mentor. We both are mentors for that project, right, Bhavanta? Yeah. So, uh, the project... name is performance testing enhancement project uh, it's a medium sized gso project and the goal of this project is to like talk about what we expect from you and what's this project about and everything so to start to get started uh what can you tell us about what performance testing about generally yeah sure uh, the performance testing is important to check if system works well when the many people use it so at the same time and it help make sure the app stays fast and doesn't crash when it's busy right jay yeah exactly and um, in our case open mrs is, is uh, it, it, we use it in healthcare settings right and system performance is uh, very crucial and it directly impact patient care in this sort of exactly, uh, yeah. set up so when a clinic clinicians treat patients they can't uh, afford to wait uh, minutes uh, for records to load right so especially in some yeah. facilities in we have like it runs the you know resource limited facilities so we have dozens of patients waiting so every second counts so and it runs on maybe it's running on old hardware or limited connectivity so we need to make sure performance optimization is like uh, it's very crucial so we need to uh, make sure like everything runs perfectly so that's that's how it's going to help open mrs and that's it's why this project is so important to open mrs so speaking of that do we really have like how is addressing that problem right now or do we have some sort of uh, setup to measure this performance how with each endpoint perform at open mrs right now Yeah. Uh, currently, we are using Catlin framework for the performance testing thing. Mm-hmm. So, and currently, we have two personas mm-hmm. and doctor and clerks, mm-hmm. uh, and two scenarios as well. And yeah. Yeah, uh, and 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 uh, this project uh, under the current implementation, we were able to identify a set of uh, uh, poor performing endpoints because it gives us a nice little dashboard, right? So yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. I love it, and you can access the dashboard. I think it's uh, we have a link on the uh, project uh, page yeah, on yeah. the OpenMRS. Uh, Otri Performance dot org. Yeah, like so, I can't remember. Yeah. So yeah, Otri Performance dot OpenMRS dot org. Yes, I can remember. But yeah, we will include a link to this description yeah, yeah. as well as its link on the wiki page of the Jiso project. So we were able to identify a set of. for performing endpoints and we were able to like uh, improve the performance uh, of those endpoints to identify bottlenecks and everything so it's already helping open mrs in uh, several ways right exactly jack can you tell us about what we expected from this gso project good question so that's the core uh, of this whole podcast right so we we need to talk about the gso yeah. project so In this GSO project, uh, the goal is to expand this more. I said like this is already helping us, right? We need to expand this more. We need to cover more scenarios. Uh, you said like there are only two personas and two scenarios, right? We need to expand more. Uh, we need to cover a wider range of APIs and uh, uh, so that uh, we can have metrics about like uh, some other endpoints that we have at OpenMRS. we can improve the performance on them uh, once we do so and also we need we have some sort of issues with the infrastructure or uh, something related to identity uh, potential as an example we are currently like dealing an issue with duplicated um, duplicated yeah yeah duplicated uh, uh, api calls or some sort of like that they were mentioned on the wiki page so and also we are planning to deploy it if we have some time so those are the stuff that we are expecting from this gso project those are the stuff that we are expecting to work with you on this summer the you uh, the one who is watching this video yeah. so um yeah so yeah now we now we know um uh, that how this is going to improve open environment and how it's going to help and what we are expecting now you need to send us a proposal right so well, what do we expect on the proposal 
Yeah, just help me and try to pick you. Yeah, uh, simple as that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and tell us your background, prove that you have good understanding in this project. Mm -hmm. And tell us uh, how you are going to complete this project. Yeah. Yeah, so. and and uh, I love how you mentioned that. Help me and try to pick you, right? That's the so people think it uh, like proposal is like it's very formal, some sort of a thing. But no, you need to shift that mindset. Just give us enough information to help us to pick you, because we are going to work with you over this summer. So we need to make sure that you are the right person. So just help us proving that you are the right person. And uh, speaking of that, we made a whole another podcast episode dedicated to proposal writing and it's published on OpenMI's YouTube channel. You can go watch mm -hmm. that episode. We'll link that on the description as well, right? Bro? So yeah, we need to have a list of stuff. Like, we have a lot of stuff to link on the description. So um, yeah, and you can get a general understanding about um, what we accept from proposals. So what are the other things that we need to choose, students need to focus on the proposal? Yeah, the good question. So main part is you need to identify personas mm -hmm. and scenarios. Personas, yeah. The, yeah, yeah. And personas, not many. The total four or five is more than enough right. for now. Mm -hmm. And scenarios, uh, this is the key part of this project. And you should come up with the set of scenarios and that covers possible workflows at OpenMRS. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. 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 So, and think of these uh, uh, scenarios like how, think how uh, these personas interact with the uh, EMR day to day basis. Persona mm -hmm. is just yeah. a user, and uh, yeah, scenario is like a workflow, right? Make sure. Uh, you identify what they do, like a doctor or clinician just don't come, uh, yeah. just log in and log off of the system, right? Unless it's a Friday. So yeah, they, they do a lot of stuff on this EMR. So you need to identify those workflows and can go through the existing code base as well. And uh, once you do, make sure to list down all those scenarios as well as the endpoint. This is very important, right, Bob? So yeah, yeah. yeah we, we need uh, you need to list down all the endpoints what are the request pay uh, request payloads so maybe the payloads, payload yeah. stuff like that so that help us to uh, gain an idea about your understanding as well as that's what you are going to do literally right that's the goal of this project so so yeah make sure you mention those stuff on your proposal so we expect that from you there are some other requirements as an example the one the duplication issue and also uh, uh, we are expecting like if you have time we, we can like work on deploying this into another instance so that we can run with like some many uh, other uh, users with the um, system so we basically run this with like 300 to 500 concurrent users at the same time so it's just stressing the system right so yeah uh, but just throw some ideas on how we are planning to solve those things like it doesn't have to uh, be like um, too detailed but like just throw some ideas and uh, do they ha have to be perfect when it comes to machine this stuff no 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 need to be perfect at all so we are not looking for the perfect ones yeah yeah we are looking for the potentials so yeah yeah exactly and even like um, my code wasn't perfect when i start uh, earlier yeah but some would argue it's still not <laughs> okay <perfect>. okay <laughs> all right Dude, that, that hurts <laughs> So, yeah, I didn't expect that, but yeah, so yeah, we are still learning, so we are also not that perfect, so you don't have to worry about being perfect at all, so, and uh, that's disappointing, by the way, <laughs> but, yeah, anyway, so once you, once we select you, once we select you, we have whole three weeks just to work with you, we call it community bonding period, you can check on the edges yeah. of timeline, so we have whole three weeks, just to work with you, just to sit down with you and re revise your proposal and hmm. uh, do some work with you. So you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to be perfect. Uh, we can figure it out later. So just uh, do uh, just like come up with the proposal as you can and uh, we can work on yeah. that later. Right. Yeah. Uh, and today, so what do students do during this time? this time uh, so you mean this time right so we are still at the yeah. we just open proposals uh, period mm -hmm. right so yeah that's very important and uh, so during this time until the deadline you can like um, i would recommend you to start with setting up the repo 
it would help right yeah. so just set up the repo and uh, try to uh, run it try to understand the project and um, you can um, go through the several documents we have we have set up yeah yeah we have the nice wiki pages mm -hmm. and the repo have nice readme as well so yeah uh, if you, you can find yeah you can find all the how to set up the repo and how to set up the docker containers as yeah everything and and also we yeah. we tried our best to explain what these personas yeah. about like you may wonder like what, what is the personas what is the, the scenarios yeah and everything right like you so all the jargon is explained out there so you don't have to be scared uh feel free to go through this and also there are some other communication channels as well. What are they? Can you remind us? Yeah, yeah. We have the platform Slack mm -hmm. channel and you can join platform team call team as call, well yeah. and talk as well. Uh -huh. Um, yeah. yeah, and uh, yeah, platform team call, I love that. That's the time we can like sit down uh, and talk, right? It's, it's, uh, <laughs> that's the uh, squad that this project belongs to. It happens every Wednesday at around, I uh, can't remember the time. So uh, you can find it on OpenMS calendar, uh, om.rs slash cal. So you can find the event, make sure to add it to your calendar and we can meet, you can ask any questions you have there and uh, yeah, everything. So yeah, and uh, also, try to open a draft PR. Sorry, not draft PR, <laughs> open a PR, like open PRs as much as you can. That's the best possible way to learn and we can provide feedback and uh, that will also help us to gain an understanding about your coding skills as well as your enthusiasm about this project. So yeah, and also, also draft proposals. Can you tell more about yeah, that? Yeah, it's broader, yeah. And you can also send us the your draft proposal as well through this through this Slack. Mm -hmm. uh, just send us the DM. Yeah, yeah, yeah and uh, just send a DM. <laughs> Make sure you uh, give us comment access. So just yeah, uh, Google access, yeah, Google. It's, don't... it's important. <laughs> important, right? Sometimes yeah. next don't share. We don't have permission. So just give us comment access. So we'll try our best to give us some uh, reviews on your proposal, whether like you yeah. are moving in the right direction or not. It's, like a, it's not an official thing, but like we are trying our best to help mm -hmm. you because we need to help you, we need you. So um, make sure uh, that you share it us. It's optional, but yeah. And make sure it's uh, private. And that's the only private interaction we should have. This is open source. Other than yeah. everything, for other than everything, we can like use the public channels at OpenMRS to discuss um, everything else. Right? Yeah. 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 Um, that's all we wanted to cover. Mm -hmm. So, did we miss anything, Jan? Did we miss anything? I don't think so. I think we covered everything yeah. that you wanted yeah. to know about that. If we, we, as we said, there are other resources out there, feel free to check them. And if you have any questions, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them as a comment and we will we will respond. Uh, we'll try to respond quickly, right? Yeah, try to respond quickly and also join our public uh, channels. And thank you so much, Pawanta, uh, for joining today's conversation. And thank you so much for sharing all those information with us. And thank you, thank you for watching this video. So that means like if you're still sticking uh, with us uh, until this end mark of this video, that means that you have your own potential students. So feel free to send us a proposal and looking forward to, um, looking forward to work with you on this summer. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah, thank you so much. And see you on another episode of Jesus Podcast. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.